Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I just want to do a quick uh, demo of how to import your tags from Codices into uh, TX Visu Pro. So when you're working with TX Visu Pro, uh, one way of importing or creating all of your tags is by importing them from codices and taking advantage of the PLC side of this HMI. So in this program, I've already created um, my communications. I have established a connection with my HMI. That's not what this video is about. I just, I'm to the point here now where um, I've connect, I'm, I'm using the serial comms on this HMI and I'm connecting over Modbus RS45 to a DX80 uh, radio. And so I'm just turning things on and off. It's a real simple application. And if I go here to my Modbus Master, here are some of my settings that you can look at. And I do have Slave 11 right now connected to my, or device ID, Modbus ID 11 connected to my TA, TX HMI. So um, since that's already connected, um, I've also already added my input and output channels here. If you, once, you've, you, once you've created this uh, input and output channel for that device, um, you'll notice here if you go to your Modbus Save IO Mapping, uh, you can actually expand these out and you can name them by just double clicking and giving it a name. So I've already named all of these. So really I've already created all my tags by um, when I made my channels, this will just appear blank and then you can just rename it. So that's done, but now I know that I need to set all of that in, import those into Visu Pro. So I need to go here up to application, right click, go to add object and we're gonna add what's called a symbol. I guess I already added it. It's right here. It's a symbol configuration. So um, since I've already added it, it's not appearing for me anymore, but you'll just go ahead and add symbol configuration and it should pop up right here. If I double click on this, it automatically, uh, it does have everything in there. If it doesn't have all the tags in here, you can just click the button build and it will grab everything on there. You do have to check mark everything. And uh, right here on this little icon, you can't probably tell that well, but uh, whatever is an input needs to be set as read only, and then whatever is an output needs to be set as read and write. So if you, I think if you just double click, yeah, it can be either or. There you go. So that was a read write. So what you want to do is once it's built, you want to do a file project save and then you want to generate code. And notice that it just kind of blinks at you, but it doesn't actually give you a response window or anything like that. So what you have to do is go to your file, wherever you stored your, your, your project name you'll notice that there is an XML document and this is what you're interested in, the XML file. You can now minimize that and get out of codices and open up my Visu Pro. The first thing I wanna do is set up my protocol, which is gonna be codices V3. I'm gonna give it a name, call this Bazinga, and I'm gonna give it the IP address. Click OK. That should be set up. And uh, now I gotta go to tags and I've gotta add something here. So if I go to add import dictionary, keep it at linear, OK. Notice that the XML document that we created, that we generated, and codices is now available here. Um, you may have to look for it, but it's in there. Okay. And it does tell me that 27 tags were added. Now I just gotta highlight all of these. I gotta click import tags. 
So notice it went from gray to black. And uh, that's what I was looking for. Now I, I should have access to everything. If I go to my page one here and I draw the, uh, let's see. Let's do a little button. Go down here. Go big. And we're going to give it a mouse click action. We're going to add our tag to it. So we're going to make this a toggle, a toggle bit. And under tag name, this is where we add the tag that we created. So I want this input to turn on an output. So right now I have my D09 connected. Um, it's a little light turning on. I don't want to turn on with just a push button. So we're gonna try that out. Click OK, and OK. And we're just gonna pop that in there. And then I also want to, let's see. Where is the other widget? Let's just do that one. Can I do this value by double click on it? I I want to tie it to that deal and I just want to make sure that it's, it's on and off. See what, see what kind of value it brings me. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm ready to download, so I'll go ahead and go to run and download to target. My IP address. Download. Looks like it took it. It's running. So I'm gonna click the button. You can't see it. And the light should turn on here. Run through. If I go to my codices, you should see it turning on. So if I log in, hit the play button here, see that my DX11, that's on. My D09, that's what we turn on, so that's on. So my light is on. Um, I believe I have a web server too. Oh crap, it's open. Yes, it's admin, admin, the username and password, <laughs> the default anyway. I click the button, turns off. Click the button, goes back on. And let me show you with my other camera. As you can see, when I click the button here, it turns off and the light turns off. So there's a little bit of latency because we're dealing with serial Modbus RS-45, but this is not an issue. Turn it on, it turns on the light. So you can't see the light that well. Turn it off, and it should turn on here in a, a couple of seconds. There. And so there you go. That's all I have to show you. I hope you have a wonderful day.